Hey guys, it's Brad from BP Boxing Bootcamp and today we're going to talk about calories and weight loss. Ooh. Here it comes. Okay then, calories and weight loss. Yeah, this is it's going to be very simple for you because I don't want to make it too complicated. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for me, it's as simple as if you burn more than you eat, then you're, you're on for a winner. So what that means is you need to exercise more, eat less, and I'll guarantee you'll be in that calorie deficit. We're gonna talk about that calorie deficit just slightly now. So to remove one pound of fat from your body, you need to be in a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories. Yeah, that does sound a lot, but over seven days you can achieve that quite easy. Uh, with some of the guys that we have at boot camp, you know, they've been coming for 10, between 10 and 15 weeks, and some of these guys have achieved an amazing weight loss of up to two stones. So that's a massive amount. And all these guys have done is they've started to do two or three one hour sessions a week added to their activity bank a week. And they've just lowered how much food they're eating and just changing little bits of food that they're eating as well. And so without them even calorie counting, they're making a massive deficit without them even realizing until they jump on the scale in weeks time, yeah? So that is, that is, that's amazing and it's quite simple. And so they haven't really calorie counted or anything like that. Um, but say if you really do want to knuckle down and really find out how much you can lose if you want to lose two pound a week or one pound a week ideally i wouldn't suggest trying to lose any more than two pound a week um, so it's obviously a gradual safe process to lose weight um, as we're talking about being safe and to lose weight this stuff that you see on social media guys all over the internet you know they've done it for ages and it's so frustrating for us as boot camp instructors as personal trainers that you see it is it's absolute rubbish and these guys obviously they've jumped into the business and they've seen a massive market for it by fooling people into buying products that are going to help you lose weight yeah and you know all the fat burners and all this this tea oh you can drink this tea and it magically burns fat yeah, that's, oh, it's, 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 if you actually, if, for me, you know, going through all my courses and stuff like that and thinking like how the body works, this is absolute mental. Yeah, it's, it's crazy to think that. And I always say to people, they always come to me and they're like, oh, what do you reckon to obviously fat burners and stuff like this? And I always say, how much is it? And they're like, oh, it's 30 quid. And it's like, right, I want you to listen to me now. Yeah, look me in the eyes and listen to what I'm going to tell you. If this can change your body, yeah, so you can become lean and you can look better and you've lost weight. Why is it only 30 pound? People have been making these products for years and years, especially more now, and then you're gonna turn around and then say, this is 30 quid, it can change your body. These products, guys, if they work, they are gonna be over a thousand pounds worth of, you know, of products and it's crazy. And if you see some of the biggest sports stars, right, they're, you know, you, they hardly ever promote this sort of stuff, guys, yeah, because it just doesn't work. These guys are training their asses off, these athletes, you know, and fair play to them. They're doing everything right. So, and, you know, for weight loss, you need to do it gradually, nice and safe. That's how you need to do, to do your weight loss, guys, yeah. So, if you do want to start calorie counting, so you can pinpoint how many uh, calories you want to lose well, not calories, how many pounds you want to lose a week, so obviously one or two pounds. I'm going to drop my one of the best websites that I use to find this out. So obviously you put your height in, you put your age in, put your weight in and stuff like that, and it will work it out so you can uh, then pinpoint how many calories you need to consume a week and then you put your exercise activity in there as well and it will work it out and say how many calories you need and then for so you can pinpoint hitting your calories. Yeah, so it's what well, I keep it as simple as if you start exercising more, start eating less, and then you'll be there, guys. Yeah, so don't try and overcomplicate trying to uh, be in that calorie deficit. And while we're on this subject as well, you can't lose fat from a certain area of your body, unlike you can build muscle. So obviously if you wanted bigger arms, you would load that area of your arms to build it and make it look more defined. Uh, with fat, it's not so simple. Yeah, if you want to lose, you know, <laughs> I'm going to go touch on another thing here as well. If you want to lose, obviously, that double chin or you know stomach, you know where it sits around the stomach, that fat there, then you can't 
just lose it from that area from doing exercises there and you've seen it you know these things that come out that apparently help you lose weight from under your chin another stupid fad that we see in the industry which is only going to get worse guys so you need to be aware of all this rubbish that's coming out okay so yeah so i'm going to tell you now if you want to you know, if someone says, oh, I want to lose weight off my stomach, oh yeah, let's do some sit-ups, we'll do a little core workout and stuff like that, yeah? Obviously, boxers do a lot of sit-ups, yeah? The main reason why they do sit-ups is so they can take body shots. That is the main reason why they take, you know, they do so many sit-ups. It's not so they have these amazing abs, it's so when they get, like, the blows to the body, that's what's going to help, you know, that trunk take, absorb those punches. So let me just tell you a little quick tip here now that guys, you've listened all the way to the end of this video and you're here with me now. If you wanna burn 3,500 calories by doing sit-ups, you need to do over 17,000 sit-ups, yeah? That is a crazy amount, yeah? So if you're just doing, you know, people do it, oh, I'll do 100 sit-ups tonight, it's not doing anything, guys, you know? It's not doing anything for your weight loss. So what you need to do is start exercising as a whole more throughout the week and start eating less, and I guarantee you'll start losing weight without even realizing, guys, yeah? That's how simple I like to keep the calories. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and you know what, guys? Let me know who you are below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on losing weight, because there's gonna be loads of different ones. If you agree, agree with me or not, not, please let me know because I want to know who you are and what you're doing. Say if you're a boot camp owner, if you're doing boot camps yourself, if you're you know you're just trying to lose weight at home, let me know what you're doing. I want to let I want to get to know you guys. Yeah. So yeah, it's been Brad. Thank you for being here for another video, and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Thank you.